welcome to our e-poster. My name is Emmanuel Abara. We'll, with my colleague, we'll present on squamous cell carcinoma in situ of the penis in a circumcised male, Northern Ontario lessons. We have no conflict of interest to disclose, and these are my disclosures. Carcinoma of the penis is a rare disease prevalent in men between ages of 50 to 70. Neonatal circumcision is said to be protective. We describe a case of a 58-year-old man with a penile lesion that failed to respond to topical therapy over a period of five years and turned out to be squamous cell carcinoma in situ of the penis. This is our case. 58-year-old man circumcised married, sexually active, no urinary symptoms, had a penile lesion for five years, treated with several topical agents. No improvement, therefore he was referred to urology. Management options were discussed, history, physical exam, he consented to examination under anesthesia and surgical excision. All this was done through telemedicine by the OTN hub. Excisional biopsy and reconstruction of the glands penis under general anesthesia was carried out. Wound care at home and monitoring by telemedicine and auto-generated digital photos were carried out. Pathological report confirmed penile intra-epithelial neoplasia, grade 3 out of 3, squamous cell carcinoma in situ, completely excised in the planes of the sections examined. Staging included ultrasound, CT scan, MRI scan to rule out any other problems. Opinion from the oncologist was sought and no adjuvant therapy was required. Recommendations include follow up as per the NCCN guidelines for 10 years. The surveillance was mainly through telemedicine digital and electronic photo by self and relatives, digital diagnostic relay of results, and when ultrasound was requested and done during this time. He has had partial nephrectomy for renal cell carcinoma a year ago, remains free of squamous cell carcinoma of the penis, sexually active, good quality erections and sensation, no urinary symptoms. Take home messages from this include that any lesion not going away should be referred for a second opinion. Excisional biopsy would intend to cure, preserve function, and prevent recurrence should be the goal. Circumcision may not prevent the occurrence of squamous cell carcinoma of the penis. The future plans with the growth of digital health, there needs to be uh, use, increased use of this technology. With Norsom University Urology Program taken off in July 2024, collaborative scholarly work among all stakeholders will enrich the legacy of urology practice in Northern Ontario. We shall consider study of CA penis in Northern Ontario and compare with other parts of the country. These are our references. Thank you for listening.